Hello everyone, I am Dr. Uday Pote and today we are going to see about coccyx pain. Now this video is by request with one of the viewers. Coccyx pain is medically called as coccyx dynia. It is common in all ages but a tad bit common in females and people with more than 40 years of age. Now coccyx is the lowermost part of your spine also called as a tailbone. Coccyx is made up of 3 to 5 vertebral bones fused or joined together. Now these bones also join the sacral bone and that joint may be a fluid filled joint or synovial joint or a fused symphysial joint. Now these 5 bones together which form the coccyx are shaped like a beak of the bird. Not all individuals have same type of coccyx and the sacrococcygeal alignment is different in most individuals. There are four types that are commonly seen. Type 1 is normal or commonly seen in 70% of people wherein the sacrococcygeal alignment has a smooth curve. The coccyx is slightly pointed forward. In type 2, the coccyx is pointing more forward with an apex forming an angle with the sacrum. In type 3, the angle is more sharper and the coccyx is pointing more forward and in type 4 the sacrococcygeal joint may be translated the coccyx may go behind the sacrum or in front of the sacrum if it goes behind it's called as the posterior subluxation or if it goes forward it's called as the anterior subluxation people with type 2 3 and 4 sacrococcygeal alignment are more prone for coccyx dynia. BMI or body mass index also affects sacrococcygeal alignment. High BMI or obese people due to high intra-abdominal pressures and sitting for longer times may cause the coccyx to posteriorly translate or dislocate. People with low BMI or thin individuals may have anterior angulated coccyx or bony spicule which increases the pain. People with normal BMI may also have coccyx pain due to trauma or hypermobility of the sacrococcygeal joint. The other uncommon reason for coccyx pain are bursitis, infection or tumors. The common complaints of people with coccyx pain is pain in the lowermost part of your spine or the tailbone region and this pain increases on sitting down or when getting up from the seated position and especially sitting on a hard surface is very painful. To diagnose coccyx pain, physical examination is utmost important. You have to inspect and palpate because 3 out of 10 patients presenting in the OPD may have pyloneidal sinus or an infection due to some infection of the hair follicle and you may confuse it with coccyx dynia because patient is unaware of the reason of the pain but they come to you with coccyx pain and there is a high probability that you may suspect it to be a coccyx dynia and may completely overlook an infection because the treatment of both are completely different. The normal mobility of the sacrococcygeal joint is 5 to 25 degrees. If the mobility of the sacrococcygeal joint is less than 5 degrees, it's immobile, it again causes pain. If it is more than 25 degrees, it's hypermobile and it causes pain. So in the range of 5 to 25 degrees, the mobility does not cause pain. X-rays is the investigation which help us to know what is the mobility of the sacrococcygeal joint. These are dynamic X-rays done while standing and sitting down. Other than X-rays, we can also get MRI and technetium 99 bone scans to rule out tumors, infections, bursitis. Let's see what are the treatment options. The U pillow or the coccyx pain pillow is a very effective tool in our treatment of coccydynia. Now, this is a very soft pillow as shown here. Once you sit on that pillow, that coccyx region is deloaded of your weight and therefore allows the 
inflammation or the pain to settle down. But mind you, you have to use it consistently for almost two to four months to see an effective and lasting results. Many people, they decide to use the pillow as and when required. They use that pillow when they are sitting, watching television and while driving, they just ignore the pillow. The pillow should be used at all times. You should carry that pillow wherever you go because that's the main crux of this treatment. The other options are anti-inflammatory medications, acupuncture, physiotherapy exercises. Now I have shown certain low back exercises which help in coccyx pain too. Please check out that video which I will be linking after this video. The conservative treatment that we had just discussed is very effective. But even after 2 months of conservative treatment, you still suffer from pain, then we may proceed with a block injection or also called as a coccyx dynia injection or a impar or ganglion block. Now these are all the names of this block. What this block does is we give an injection of anesthesia and small amounts of steroid in the region where the nerves supplying the sensation of pain are present. Once you give that block injection, the pain reduces. I am showing here one of the patient's x-rays while doing this procedure. Now this procedure is done under x-ray visualization. So there is no guesswork during this procedure. The second type of injection that we may give is at the joint of the sacrum and coccyx. We may repeat these injections after 3 to 4 weeks and the success rate of these injections is almost 80%. The patients not responding to these injections, we may proceed with manipulation of the sacrococcygeal joint in which the patient is given a general anesthesia, he is made to sleep and we manually move the coccyx and sacral joint, the sacrococcygeal joint for almost one minute and after that we give an injection in the sacrococcygeal joint and the success of this therapy is more than 90%. Those who do not respond to any of the above treatments, we have to proceed with surgery to remove the coccyx bone. It is safely removed and the quality of life is drastically improved. This is very rarely required. Conservative or non-operative management is the mainstay of treatment for coccyx pain. Provided you use U-Pillow and follow all the precautions that I had mentioned with the exercises as well. We would like you to comment in the comment section and let us know what other videos you would like us to make. Till then, please take care.